we go. Oh, with some yoga. What day is it? Thursday, Thursday. That's late April, April, late April 27th, 5th, doing 6th. some yoga here, we're going to do some yoga that is good for the neck, head tension, shoulders, hips, and gentle on the knees, yes, Very good. okay, here we go, um, <laughs> where to start, so yeah, let's start there, and we're going to do this Interlocking the hands and pushing down, and then inhale, and a good stretch straight up, and then exhale, release, and then again interlocking the hands, and then inhale, we're going to do this five times, straight up, and then exhale. One. A little shoulder shake, a little arm shake, in case there's any tension there, and I'll put it in the hat. And then we're going to do some threading with your arms. I come back here. So pull the arms straight up. And first, the right hand, you're just going to try and reach as high up as you can with your right hand. Just straight up. Oh, okay. Straight up oh as God. high as you can with okay. your right hand, but keeping your feet okay. planted and your hips square. And then the other one, as high up as you can with the left. And then again, the right, as high up, getting your fingertips like, it's almost like they're being pulled up by a magnetic force. And then the other. One more time, all right. And then left. And then let it drop. Ready? Hypocrites. <laughs> Moving up a little bit. Okay, and then a couple times you're gonna bring your shoulders up. And drop. Inhale up. And then we're going to um, bring our, try and make our shoulder blades touch together at the back. Yeah, in the middle, squeezing them together and counting to five. And I find that's usually about two breaths. Then we're actually going to try and bring the shoulders in as if these were being drawn in together. Okay. And again, breathing in for two breaths. Yeah. And then we're going to do the back again. So the shoulder blades are being brought in together and holding for two breaths. sure that the shoulders aren't coming up, just forward and in front. And then back one more time. Yeah. And loosen. And squeezing the shoulder blades back. Sometimes I'll even 
tie my hands together, not tie them, interweave them. If you feel really brave or adventurous, you can do a little back, just a little, and then back out. Sometimes I'll also, I'm not, you don't have to do this mm -hmm. right now, but sometimes I'll also bring them up. You can't even do it then, don't worry. Okay, great. Some serious shoulder. Okay, now we're going to do a little gentle head roll. Okay. Okay, so um, bring it forward. Just let it just hang. Let it feel like heavy so that you're really stretching the back of your neck. And try and release your shoulders, any tension there. When you're ready, you're going to gently roll to the left from the front until you feel a good stretch on the right side. And then gently roll to the right. Enough that you feel a stretch on the left side. And back again. To the left. And then roll on back to the right. Now this time, when we're coming back across to the left, from below, Stay to the left and, um, with your right hand. Um, yeah, you got it. Bring it out. Keep the palm parallel with the floor. Just extend the stretch into your shoulder. And then release your hand. And then bring your head over to the right. And bring your left hand out parallel. Oh, that's nice. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> and then release. And then back to the middle. Make sure you drop your shoulders. And just let it dangle for a second. Maybe even lean forward a little bit. Let your arms dangle a little bit. Try and take a deep breath into this spot right here. And just like really release all this. Light, bend over a little bit more. Let the arms and the head totally dangle. Yeah. Okay, and then come back up real slow. And the head is the last thing that comes straight up. Ooh. Okay, and then uh, we're going to bring the palms of our hands together like this, and then actually point your index finger, okay, like that, and this is going to have a downward pressing, and then you're going to tilt your chin up to the sky, and point the tip of your tongue up, and to the top of your upper mandible, uh -huh. <laughs> you ready for that, okay. okay, and then so you're stretching up, and you're stretching your tongue up into the top of your mouth, and you should feel a good Front of neck stretch. And okay, now let's do some shoulder roll back and forward. Shoulder focus. Okay, and then the other direction. Oh, didn't you have a shelf up there? What happened? It fell. Oh, see, I said that. Thankfully, it fell when we were on our trip, and it was like just after, because we had just a lot of just no, what is my friend Sarah's day. Oh yeah. And she was just like, oh, I guess, guess it's just, they just left things like that. So she didn't hang out on the couch at all, because it all yeah, fell yeah. on the couch. Oh, God. I was like, it's just not, there are too many things different there. Why not put something on that wall, right? Well, you could, but smaller. Yep. You put lighter books. Yeah, that's the trick. <laughs> but maybe convert. Books are heavy. They are heavy. Like, 
We definitely had too many bolts in it. But there you've got supports all along. Yeah. And I used like these the big yes, metal yes. anchors. Enjoy yes, your yoga. Yoga. The exactly. trick is these guys too. These big metal yeah, anchors. Like which I did not use that. I used the oh. little plastic ones. Yeah. Oh, I thought we used the tougher ones. No. Yeah. I used plastic oh. ones. Oh. I don't know what I was thinking. What were you thinking? I don't know. I wasn't thinking. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. then... Okay. <laughs> so then, do we do our front and back shoulder rolls? Mm, um, okay, so then we want to do um, some, just this kind of winging. Like doing the butterfly, yeah, that's it. So you're going backwards, that's great. Kind of really big circles. Bye, Bye. Annie, love you, have a great day. <laughs> and then change directions. Really big circles and big can be <laughs> and then spiral into really small circles oh yeah like a hummingbird oh, change yeah. directions good little arms ranking them right those are good Ooh. okay and then spiral and back into big okay and release Great. And then we're going to do some, um, um, uh, we're going to bring our hands together to our heart. Take a deep breath. Exhale. Hands up overhead. Gentle tilt back. Gentle. And then back to the middle. And then inhale, tilt to the left. A little crescent moon. in your pose. You know this is your favorite. Get ready for it. Arms wide, bend your knees. Back up. And then back down again. One more time. one of your favorites okay chest roll remember this chest roll so chest is going forward to the right oh, yeah. yep. back to the left forward to the right back to the left we're gonna do this for a minute so that you really get into your own what's it feel like for you to do that to the left forward right Forward, back, back, to the left, and then you want to get into an actual smooth roll. And so that you should feel that in your back, in your neck, in your shoulders, in your hips, and then change direction. Again, into just any neutral moves. See if you can make that really big back. Right, it's a huge circle in here. Bosom, bosom circles. Okay. Okay, and let's try this. A pop out, pop back, pop out, pop back, pop to the side, pop to the other side, back and forth, side to side. Okay, great, and then a jiggle. It's a cool hip hop dance move too, so do that. Oh, good. 
<laughs> okay. Yeah. I just might have farted. This my water. Luckily, you can't smell farts on video. Isn't that lucky for you, Mom? I can't what? Smell farts on video. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry, Jack. Sorry, Mom. I have to fart when you work out. Well, yeah, this is it's a good sign. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing now with our hips. Okay, and the guiding point that you're moving is like right here between your crotch and your belly button. Middle of your hips, okay? So again, we start forward, to the right, back, to the left, forward. And always, so you, no doubt the other parts of your body will be moving, but the main part is your hips, okay? So forward, right, back, forward, right, back. Sorry, skip left. <laughs> forward, right, back, and then see if you can get a fluid circle going. And then start small. It might help to feel your hips. And then your hips starting small. And then start to spiral into a bigger circle. As big as you can, so that you're really moving your leg bones in your hip joints. Yeah, mama. Try and go as wide as you can. Don't be afraid to knock me over. Switch sides. Start again with switch directions and start with small circles, itty bitty little circles. Obviously, this is practice for hula hooping. Yeah. And then we start to go a little bit bigger. And if you're really good, you could have a plate or a book oh, on your head sure. and be doing this and then not fall over because you're just moving your head. Right. Yeah. Get really big. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I would have dropped the book for sure. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't know what you mean. Uh, okay. Do a little jiggle. Butt jiggle. Okay, great. Now let's, now that all this is loose, we're going to do a figure eight. And we're going to... Oh, like, what? Figure eight. And oh, it's yeah, going to be yeah. a little dancy. Okay. Like belly dancing. Sure. Okay, ready? Yeah. So... Again, you're leading with this part here. Let's say right hip out, and then back, and then left hip out, and then back. Right hip out, left hip out. This is also great in salsa. Generally a good swaying technique. Again, is rotating the femur up in the hip joint. And then switch directions. I think I switched directions. <laughs> mm, there we go. That's the switch directions. Okay, and bringing it back. How fast do you think you can go? No, 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 no. That's good, Mama. That's perfect. You know what? It actually is less about fast and more about sensual details. Imagine <laughs> if you had a jingly skirt on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you remember doing belly dancing on the beach with Aunt Charlene? Yes, and Simon? yes. It's one yep. of my favorite memories. Yeah. So I just have to keep that move alive. Yeah. Orange beauty smooth. <laughs> okay, great. And then let's do a little like uh, back and forth with the knees like that. Yep. Yes. <laughs> Let's try and get a bounce on. Uh, 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 a little bounce for this way. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, yeah, like that kind of a good bounce there. Okay, great. How are you feeling? Not bad. Okay, great. We're going get, to get into some serious shit now. Serious? Yeah. Ooh. Okay, so um, we're going to start with the right leg. Mm -hmm. Okay, put your left hand on your belly button. Okay. It's going to help you stabilize, okay? Um, your left foot, lift your toes, mm -hmm. and then drop them wide. Spread them out, yep. 
and then like really plant that left foot and kind of shift your weight over to your left foot, okay? Yeah. Then your right foot is coming back into your hand. One of these old guys, I'm sure you did it when you were in school, when you were training. So this is a good hip and knee stretch. And we'll just hold this for a minute. You want to try and breathe actually into that area. Yeah, so this is also a good preparation for tree pose, your favorite pose. And if you're feeling grounded or you want to do a little bit deeper leg hip stretch, you can push your foot, your leg back a little bit and hold it into your hand. And it's okay if you lose your balance and you want to come back into just this kind of a thing or even just like this. And in the, the full pose is this. Yeah. And some days it's easier to get to that, and some days it's harder. Okay. Okay, great. And um, we're going to do the other side. Okay, so uh, lift your right toes up, and then drop them so you're giving yourself a broader base. And then shift your weight over your right foot. Hand on your belly for stability, or if you find doing that is easier. Uh, and then the left foot comes into your left hand. And you're trying to keep your hips square. <laughs> right? Easier said than done. Gentle stretch. And then if you're feeling like, oh, I've got this, maybe you want to kick back a little bit. Or maybe even lean forward a little bit. Find looking at a, a spot ahead of you on the floor really helps. Boom. Great. Shake that out. Okay. Uh, well, back to the left foot. Lifting the feet, the toes, and dropping them wide. Weight over the left foot. And now um, you're going to bring the right leg up like this into your hands. And again, it's both balance and it's a good hip stretch, a good knee stretch. And then you're going to release it and just hold your leg out in front of you and use your arms as balance when you're ready. Yep. And you want to try and hold it up as long as you can. And I know it's not easy. Yep. Yep, Mama. Yep, Mama. Yep, Mama. Okay. Back to the right foot, uh, ball of foot, I'm oh, sorry, heel, ball of foot, toes wide, weight over the right foot, the left knee comes up into your hands, and you're trying to keep everything nice and straight, and pulling that nice and up there, and feel it in your hip and your knee a little bit, and then when you're ready, you feel like you get good balance, you're looking at a spot ahead of you, then you're going to let your leg come out. Bring your arms wide for stability and see how long you can hold that. Both it's a balance and it's also really hard muscle building in your hip and your leg and your knee. <sighs> Great. <laughs> Some teachers will have you hold that for a while oh, and then like great. just before you bring it down, yeah. you have to bring it higher. Mm -hmm. It's good. All of these muscles get a good workout yeah, yeah. plus a little mm -hmm. stretch. Okay, great. Now, I feel like that prepared us for tree pose. Are you ready? Okay. You know that one. You want me to yeah. do it? Yeah. So, yeah. Do you want to, let's start with our left foot down. So, again, heel, follow foot, toes spread wide. And weight over the left foot. And I actually would say point your right toe out. Bring your hands to your chest. And when you feel ready with an inhale, you're going to bring your foot up either to your calf or above your knee. And again, you're looking at a spot in front of you, about five feet in front of you on the floor for stability. And this is when you want to just get super cool and calm. No worries if you lose your balance. Inhale and bring your arms up. I like to imagine opening up like a tree, receiving sun, and then coming back into this. And actually, I'm going to add a dimension. Bring your right 
arm oh, under. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So um, bring your left arm to the front, yeah. and your right arm's gonna go under, under. and it's and you can leave it like that. Ooh. The palms touch, the backs of the hands touching, okay. or some people will even twist. Oh my. That's like, oof. right? Okay. Whew. That was one side. You got the video, so you can keep practicing. Okay. Let's just do a mountain pose for a second. So that's both feet firmly planted, hip distance apart. And yeah, you know it. Just standing tall. Feeling a thread of magic pulling you a little bit taller. Pulling us out of our slouches. really will do this pose sometimes when I'm feeling low and I'm like, oh yeah, don't forget you're as insignificant as a grain of sand, but also you're as significant as a mountain. Stand tall. And that's a good, you're, you're smart to go into a meditative state. It's a good meditation pose. Yeah. Um, maybe we can do some walking meditation today. Walking meditation? Yeah, yeah. totally. Okay, right foot. Okay. Ball of, that's right, heel, ball of foot down. Spread the toes, drop them. So we have a wide base. I like to sometimes imagine when I'm doing the tree pose, okay, I did that and the roots are shooting down mm -hmm. and now my trunk is firm and strong. And then pointing the toe out. And when you feel ready, inhaling and bringing the foot up to, the sh to your shin. Or if it helps uh, to put the heel into the top, like just above your, your knee. It, I find is it like stays there more, but it does require a bit more balance. Otherwise, you can do it. As long as you're not on your knee, you're good. <laughs> Forget it. If you can rest it on this part here, where the, like the ball of your foot can kind of sit right there, mm -hmm. that's the ideal. And then the, the only ball. place you're putting pressure is the ball of your foot. Okay. Or sorry, the heel of your foot. Oh. That's what I mean, sorry. Yes. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> and then you're looking at a spot sure. in front of you. Yeah. Okay, we're stabilizing here. Take a deep breath in. And on the next inhale, you bring your arms up. And then open that. down and then this is where you can do the so now this time the right is in the front and the left goes around the back yep you got it so that the backs of the hands are touching sometimes people will turn the knee inward or even twist it Ooh, you could get there you could totally get there the thing is you don't go there until you're like okay i've got my balance yeah yeah. Okay. With that, okay, so our feet are close together now. We've been doing this balancing, okay? We're going to go into the chair pose, okay? So the feet are firmly planted, bending the knees gently. Okay, we're going to bring the hands up. Inhale. And then we're going to bend the knees, come down, and we're going to twist gently to the right side. And rest your right elbow on your left knee. And then you're going to slowly turn your head to look over your left shoulder, very gently. Okay, and then you're coming back to the middle, and then back up. And then exhale. So we're going to do the other side. So it's good stretch for the back, good exercise, plus you get a twist. Inhale, and we're coming down, and we're bringing the right 
sorry, the left elbow to the right knee, gentle twist, and you're going to look up towards your right shoulder. Yeah, and you might find that um, you want to kind of create a triangle with your, so bring your right, yeah, okay. you got it, like that, come cool. on, yep, and then back to the middle, okay, and then we're actually going to bring our arms like this, and we're going to hold it like this. You're gonna want, you want to kind of point your tailbone down, keep like you're sitting in a chair, okay. just for one, two, three, four, five, and up. Oh. Inhale, and exhale. Right? Right. <laughs> Shake that out. Tension. <laughs> <laughs> a little tension. <laughs> The time it is 10.54, okay, Ooh. we got 10 more minutes, okay. I recommend, I don't have any cash, do I need, I need to get cash? Oh, uh, you know what, I can bring a check. A check? Yeah. Ouch. I'll bring my check. I'm my sure check. she's going to take a check? I assume so, or, um, what we can do is, um, I'll drop you off, and then I'll go get some cash. Okay. Yeah. And then I'll just, uh, I need to get cash. Okay. Anyway, so you've been... Well, if you want, you could give me your, I mean, what way would we go? I could give you, like, debit, and you could get me money. Yeah. Like, the money. case or the bank of Montreal, or it doesn't matter, you're going to have to pay either way. I no think there is a bank of Montreal at Kiel. Like, they don't, like, yeah. It doesn't matter, I don't care. Yeah. To wherever. You got some pain in there? No. What's that? You're sussing out. Does that hurt? It doesn't hurt. It just grown a little bit. Yeah, so you're aware of it. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. All right. Okay, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna make our way down to the ground now. So we got All ten right. minutes left. We want to do some ground stuff. Okay. So come on to the top of your mat. One more little. Do it like this. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Just to get a moment. Go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We're live. We're ready for a walk today. We're going for a six hour walk. Oh, oh no, buddy. Okay. Here we go. Now we're going to do, um, <laughs> we're going to go into, uh, we're going to do, um, the sun salutation and then get down on the ground like that. So, uh, feet hip distance apart, firmly planted. Hands come to the chest. Inhale up. Exhale, swan dive. Come back up a little bit flat back and then down all the way. And now you're gonna get the step, give this back into a plank, and then here we're just gonna wait just for a second and then slowly down. Like that. Oh, yeah. Take a little rest. <laughs> I've been doing this. It's great, but I'm still like. Oh, and then a little bit of a cobra. And then to curl your toes under. Yep. Going into a short downward dog. There you go, mama. And just a little bicycle your feet. Mm -hmm. A little bit there. Okay. And then come down on your knees. We're just going to do this for a moment. Cat and cow. Yep. So cat, with your head up and you're bending your, your belly button being pulled down. And cow rounding out your back. Inhale, cut. Ow! Cow. Cow. One more. Inhale. Cat. Exhale. Ow. And you're going to come back. And we're going to do a little child's pose. Yeah, with your knees wide. A little child's pose. <sighs> that hard on your knees? Oh, no, I did. Uh -huh. There you go, Mama. Okay. Then you're going to walk your hands over to the right. I mean the left. So you get a good right 
side body stretch here. And then over to the right. Good little side body stretch. Okay. And then you're going to come up on your knees and you're going to turn your toes out. Okay, this is called a frog. See a little pop alarm. And then you're going to come back. And that just gives you a little bit of a stretch. Can you feel it? Mm hmm. Just a little bit of a stretch. What's the alarm? It's the uh, it's 11 o'clock oh. alarm. Okay, we got to wrap this up. Wrap up. We're going to snooze it. It'll give us five extra minutes. Okay, okay, so you're in the frog. Now you're gonna bring your feet under. Woo! That was slick. Okay. <laughs> um, bring the soles of your feet together. Yep. Like a little book. Hold it like a little book. Keep your back straight. And you're gonna kind of like push into your pelvis. Feel that stretch in the inner parts right here in your pelvis and just hold that for a minute. For a good bit of a knee hip stretch. And then we're gonna slowly roll down. So folding over. Deep into the stretch for sure. Great. Now you're going to take your left foot, it's going to stay down, and your right foot is going to go over like a little cross. You got it. Okay? You got it. Okay? Just hold that for a sec. Yep. And then you're going to try and do a gentle twist. <laughs> so you're going to put your left. Your left hand there, trust your, use your right hand to secure you. You got it. Yeah, a little twist. And you're looking over your right shoulder. A little twist. This is like full, actually a full body twist. Okay, come back to the middle. Bring this back here to the middle. Let it drop a little bit. And I'm going to do a hands down like this kind of a stretch. Let your hands come down. Okay. And then the other side. So the right leg stays down. I'd even bring it, you know, as in as you can. Yeah. Yeah. And then the left leg, just the foot right at the knee. Yeah, you got it. Okay, and then, and then you're going to use your left arm. I tend to do like a wide stretch back. <laughs> uh, so let's see. Oh. <laughs> okay, let's start again. Okay, so your legs are out like this. Okay. My left hip. Yeah, this is good. Okay, wait. Okay, start again. Let's start from the top. Okay. 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 So first, okay. your right, right. Foot heel, heel is going to come yeah. into under your... Yeah, yeah, you got that. Okay, great. And try and get it as flat as you can. I can. Okay, that's great. Okay, <laughs> no worries. Then you're going to bring your left foot yeah. as close as you can to okay. your knee. If it only gets here, that's yeah. okay. 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 Okay, so stay like that. Okay, keep your right hand on your okay. left knee. Okay, now breathe up with your left arm and bring it back. Oh, okay. Plant it firmly. Okay, that's your support. Okay. Make sure it's, it's holding you. Then... You're gonna put then in your arm okay. and twist. Okay. Yeah. Looking over your left shoulder and getting feeling that twist in your hip, your back, your shoulders. Okay. And if you get to it over the knee, not having a deeper twist, that is great. Okay. No worries though. Okay, now leg straight out. Whew. Yeah. Good one, right? Uh huh. <laughs> Inhale up, and then exhale the full over. Wherever you land is good. With all of these 
poses. You can hold them for as long or as little as you want. Okay, now we're going to open this up here. Okay. Feel, you want to feel like you're right on your sits bones. Okay, and you're breathing and you're straight up. Bring your arms behind your head. We're going to start with the right. So you're bringing your right elbow as you exhale down to your knee. And you can release your left arm to dangle over and if it feels good to grab your foot or ankle, that's cool, or your shin, whatever. Just a nice full arc. And you want to have your gaze looking up towards the ceiling. Yeah. Yeah. Take one more deep breath and come on up. Woo! Some deep stretching over here, are you okay? Mm -hmm. Your head's hurting? I'm just dizzy. A little dizzy, okay. This is the last upside down. <laughs> and then we'll lay on our backs, okay? Uh, Hands to the back of the hands to the back of the head. We're going to the left side now. So inhale, exhale, drop, and again, this should be full side body, shoulder, right hip, and leg stretch. And back to the middle. Okay, great. Bringing the legs back together. Now we're gonna. Okay, we're gonna do both. Pose down into the ground, okay? In the what? Yeah. So bring whatever you need for your head. So we're sitting like this. Okay. Feet on the ground. Your butt is firmly planted, okay? We're going to slowly come down. And as we're coming down, we're going to also lift our feet, okay? Just a little bit if you can. In fact, you might want to first lift your feet a little bit. Yeah, use your arms. You can either do this or hold yourself. And come down real slow. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> okay, great. Um, so let's bring our knees into our chest and give ourselves a little hug because yeah. we're fabulous and a little rock back and forth to give the little, the little back massage. Flash our butts to the camera and then open up. Hold that there for a second. Just good inner hip stretch. Then you want to grab the outsides of your feet. Yep. Bend your knees. Bring your knees close to the inside of your body. And you can do another little rock. This is called the baby Buddha. You know how babies do this kind of thing? Yep. It's really cute Ooh. how they do it. And that's also good. Mm -hmm. Back roll. I'll turn this way so you can see. Let the hips come on the outside of the body. Oh, no. oh yeah, I love that shit. Okay. Great. Okay. Then you want to have your arms either like this, okay. cactus, or like this, cactus. Legs together, and you're just going to bring them gently to the left, all the way around, another twist. And looking to the right as you say, and then to the right, and looking to the left. Hopefully you get a good back crack in there. One more time to the left. And one more time to the right. Okay. And then you're going to bring your feet all the way up. Do a little jiggle so that you get your sacrum, a little sacrum massage. See if you can lift your butt off the ground once. Try one more time, just for yourself. One more time, just one more time with your butt out. Yep. So if you did, you know that, a sequence of those, right. that's really good core building, but gentle. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, and now we're going to bring your feet all the way down. Oh. Bring your feet out to the edge of your mat. Open that wide, bring your arms out to the edge of your mat. Shivasana. And just take two minutes to release everything. Do a little body scan. Notice if anything is sore or tense or tingling and just like tell that part of your body, it's okay. Workout's done. <laughs> Send some love there. 
Time to go. Time to go. Yeah. Let's do it. Oh. Insert 10 to 20 minute meditation here. Yeah. <laughs> Yee.